Hey guys, how's it going? AJ at Crunchbox here, welcome back to another video. If you can hear the wind in the background right now, that hurricane or whatever the Barney thing was that was going around, uh, we've got like the back end of it right now here in the UK and it's crazy, the wind and the rain. I was literally driving yesterday and it was blowing my car side to side on the road. I'm not even joking, so it was crazy and it still is, so if you can hear that I do apologise. Uh, but either way guys, Life story today on the time that I broke my nose. In the background we have some Black Ops 3 Zombies gameplay. If you prefer um, zombies or multiplayer in the background let me know down below because obviously I can get more of each one and then obviously pick it depending on what you guys do prefer. And also with the campaign I'm making that very very soon and putting it up. I'm gonna do it live and then you know do it that way for you guys so look out for that and subscribe for that if you haven't already. Uh, so yeah that'll be very very soon. And I'm very excited for that. I haven't tried it yet at all. So very, very exciting. I'm not going to do the easiest mode. I'm going to do it on a fair mode. So it'll be decent. I'm not going to do it on like the real life mode um, or whatever that one's called because that would just be absolutely insane. But either way, guys, let's just skip all that. Go on to the story. So the time I broke my nose. This was a long time ago. I don't even remember how old I was. I reckon I was around seven or eight years old. So we're literally going back around 11 years, okay? And in my whole lifetime, this is the only bone I've ever broken. And I don't even know if it was fully broken, but I'm pretty sure it was because there was a lot of blood. So um, what happened was, like I said, a long time ago, no one in my family, apart from my mum, I don't think has actually broken a bone. Maybe my dad, I haven't even asked him, but I think... From what I know, from my knowledge, my mum is the only person who's broken a bone. So I guess we're fairly lucky in that, considering there's like five of us in the family and uh, only a couple of us have actually broken a bone. So pretty lucky, I guess, in that area, like I said. But it was a long time ago and we're eating dinner, you know, just chilling, having some food. And then I finished. I went out into the conservatory. So let me give you a little floor plan here. Where our kitchen is, we have a conservatory backing onto that and... There's glass sliding doors there, so there's a little step, obviously, like a runway along the floor for the door to slide over it. And uh, we never close this door, so it's literally kind of like an archway, I guess you could call it, uh, just with a step there. So, you know, walked out the back. I didn't, like, tuck my chair under or anything like that, so take that away from this video. Always tuck your chair under. Um, so I went out the back and obviously just wanted to watch TV or something like that. So I went out there, and then I ran back in. I don't know what I was doing. Obviously, I was very young. If I was running around, I don't do any of that stuff now. Um, but I ran back in from the conservatory to the kitchen, tripped on the step, and then landed flat bang, like the base of my nose. How do you explain this? That little groove from like, the top of your lip to your nose. Okay, so put your hand like flat under that, and then that is how I landed. That was the chair. Imagine your hand is the chair, and that is my nose. It was like flat on the chair. I could have died from that because if the bone went up, obviously through to my brain, I could have been a goner. Could have been a goner. So this is the, pretty much the second time I could have died in my life. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was crazy because the amount of blood, there was so much blood, it was crazy. And I had never seen so much. It just wouldn't stop. I literally had like a bucket. I had like hankies and tissues everywhere. And it was crazy. It really was because there was so much blood. Like I said, I've never seen so much. And nothing like that has ever happened to me or anyone in my family that I know of so it was it was an experience to say the least I just pretty much went to the hospital I was sitting around for a while you know how hospitals are making you wait around so I was just waiting and I remember there was this girl in front of me in the uh in the hospital and she was constantly throwing up into this like washing up bowl constantly just throwing up and I get really sick when I see people throwing up or even just hearing them throw up makes me feel sick myself so that was another, just an experience in itself, and it was gross to say the least, but yeah, I mean, obviously I got seen, they did like a scan of my nose, and they were just like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it was actually officially broken, but it's like fractured, so the bone was obviously broken, but not enough for them to need to do anything. So that was great news, I was lucky enough not to have anything on my nose, or have to walk around with anything like attached to my face, and become the laughing stock or the class clown of the school, because that would have sucked, and my parents would probably still have pictures of that, so that would probably be very, very embarrassing. So I was pretty lucky in that respect, and like I said before, I would never take that for granted again because I don't want to risk that, you know. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. Thank you so much for listening and for watching the gameplay. I apologise if it really isn't that interesting. I'm not that great. That was This is one of my earlier Zombies gameplays, so I apologise for that if it really is that bad. And uh, yeah, like I said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.